Unit 5, Lesson 2, Similar Triangles. Your objectives for this lesson are to identify and use similar triangles. Our first type of triangle similarity is AA similarity. AA, remember, is angle, angle. Um, this happens when two angles of one triangle are congruent to two, triang two angles of another triangle. So, for instance, if these two angles were congruent, and then these two angles are congruent, then my two triangles are similar by AA similarity. You only need two angles to show that your triangles are similar. Next, we have SSS, or side, side, side similarity. This happens when the measures of the corresponding side lengths of two triangles are proportional. So on these two triangles here, um, if, let me call this A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so if length AC is 10, AB is 15, and BC is 20. And on this one, I have 20, 30, 40. You can see each of these sides are proportional. So if I take 10 over 20, I get 1 half for my scale factor. 15 over 30 also gives me a scale factor of 1 half. 20 over 40, 1 half. So even though these triangles are not oriented in the same direction, since each pair of corresponding sides is proportional, these triangles are similar by SSS similarity. Last, we have side angle side similarity. So the measures of the two side lengths of one triangle are proportional to the measures of two corresponding side lengths of another triangle. And the included angles are congruent. So here, maybe I have PQR and XYZ. And Q and R, maybe they're both 30 degrees. So those are congruent. If PQ is 9 and QR is 8, and then over here we have 18 and 16, you can see again my side lengths are proportional. So all I've done is multiplied by 2. That's the same ratio and the included angles are congruent. So that would be side angle side similarity. Notice that side angle side and side 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 we have seen before with congruence although there um, the side lengths were congruent not proportional. And angle angle we talked about how we could not use angle 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 to prove two things are congruent. You can use it to prove that they are similar. Okay, example one, determine whether the triangles are similar. So I have three sides marked, I don't have any angles marked. So the only uh, criteria I could use to show these are similar would be side, side, side. To use side, 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 I need to prove that, or demonstrate that each uh, pair of corresponding sides is proportional. So I'm going to just take a guess here that 10 and 15 go together. So let's see, 10 over 15, if we reduce this fraction, we're going to get 2 thirds. Okay, let's see 6 and 9. So 6 over 9 also simplifies to 2 thirds. This is looking promising. 8 and 12, so 8 over 12 also simplifies to 2 thirds. So since all of these reduce to the same fraction, which is 2 thirds, yes, 
They are similar by side, side, side similarity. Example two, same directions. Determine whether the triangles are similar. Okay, so I have two sides and an included angle marked for each. So I'm going to try to use side, angle, side. I see the angles are congruent, so that's a good start. Uh, let's see these sides, though. So 3 over 4 does not simplify. That is as simple as it gets. Let's hope that these two will reduce. So 6 over 8. No, I know 6 is 2 times 3. 8 is 2 times 4. So this does simplify to 3 fourths. So since the ratio, not the ratio, yes, the ratio of the sides are the same, so they both simplify to give me a scale factor of 3 fourths. And that included angle is, those are congruent. I have a yes, they are similar by side, angle, side, similarity. Example three, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Find the values of x and y. So since these are similar, the side lengths are proportional. So I know, or, well, BC is 18. BC goes with EF. EF is 9. So I'm going to write my scale factor, 18 over 9 simplifies to 2 over 1. Um, I want to find x first. So x is df. df goes with ac. ac is 18 times the square root of 3. Okay. So we're going to have 2 over 1. Try this again. 2 over 1 equals 18 times the square root of 3 divided by x. Now I'm going to cross multiply and I get 2x equals 1 times 18 square root 3. And I don't have to write the 1 there um, because 1 times anything is itself. Now I need to divide by 2. So I get x equals 9 times the square root of 3. Only divide the 18 by 2, not the square root 3. Since those are being multiplied, you've already taken care of that. So we just have 9 square root 3. Okay. And now we need to find y. So I know that y goes with 18. Can't go with anything else. Everything else I've already circled. So now I'm going to say... 2 over 1 equals y over 18. Cross multiply. We get 2 times 18 equals 1 times y, or just y. So 36 is y. So my answer box, x is 9 root 3, and y is 36. Example four, a person six feet tall casts a 1.5 foot long shadow at the same time that a flagpole casts a seven foot long shadow. How tall is the flagpole? So right here, there's no person, but we could, we could draw a little person here. Okay, and basically, um, these two triangles are proportional. So we're going to set up our proportion. I'm going to say 6 over 1.5. So 6 over 1.5 equals x over 7. So we're keeping the two parts of the triangles together. 
if you wrote instead, if you wrote 1.5 over 6 equals 7 over x, that's fine. You will get the exact same value for x. But I'm just going to do it this way. So I'm going to cross multiply. 6 times 7 is 42. 1.5 times x is 1.5x. Now we need to divide by 1.5. And x is, let's check it out, 42 divided by 1.5 is 28. So the flagpole is 28 feet tall. Do include the unit there, 28 feet. And that, I believe, wraps up lesson two. Yes, it does.